Hello, my name is Nathan McDonald. I'm a physicist. I work at uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. I work on using ultrasound therapeutically and using MRI to monitor it. Uh, the, the two main applications that we do are for targeted drug delivery and for uh, ab ablating tumors thermally. Um, and we have a particular interest in, the, in applications in the brain. One of the major projects that we're working on is uh, to enable drug delivery in the brain. Normally, most drugs don't actually get into the brain when you inject them into the body or if a person takes a pill because of the blood-brain barrier. Um, the blood-brain barrier protects the brain normally, but it, it has a big limitation on what drugs you can use. Um, we found about 10 years ago that if we use uh, low-power ultrasound pulses uh, combined with small microbubbles that are commercially available as a contrast agent for ultrasound imaging, uh, that we can temporarily disrupt the blood-brain barrier without causing any damage. Uh, so if we can translate this to people, this would enable us to have uh, not only to use drugs in the brain, but to target where they go exactly. The, the work we're doing now is mostly to uh, do the work that's necessary to move this to, the, to patients. We're looking at to show that we can actually improve uh, survival rates in tumors and animal models. And then we also have to show that it's safe. Um, there are some risks involved when you're putting ultrasound beams into somebody's head, um, and we need to show that we can control it adequately so that we're not going to cause any damage. My fellow, uh, E.J. Park, uh, did some work where she uh, looked at treating breast cancer metastases in the brain using Herceptin. Um, a lot of patients get breast cancer and they, they, they respond well to drugs, but when it metastasizes to the brain, uh, they don't respond to the drugs very well anymore. Um, so we hope that by disrupting the blood-brain barrier in the tumor and around it, we can get drugs into the brain and help these patients. Um, the other study we're doing is, is, a, is a safety study, and we're looking at another animal model that we can safely do this using a, a clinical system that was designed by a company in, in Israel named Inside Tech, um, and they built this system for brain tumor ablation. Um, we want to be able to use it for BBB opening and in a, a larger animal model. So we're doing this test now to show that it's safe. So we were successful in, so far in showing that, that they're safe. All sorts of brain disorders may benefit from this. There's some results in, in animals showing that we can actually clear out some of the plaques that are formed in Alzheimer's. There's a, other applications for um, diseases like Parkinson's or, other, or, or multiple sclerosis potentially. Um, this stuff is it, really wide open for us to look at. So we're just sort of scratching the surface and developing the technology that will enable a lot of other research. It has a huge potential, not just in the brain, but for the rest of the, the body. There's a lot of drugs that are developed that are very promising, and when they're tested in patients, they don't work. They, to get the doses needed to be effective, they end up being toxic. There's a lot of drugs that are effective but have very bad side effects. Um, and one, one thing that we, we might be able to do is to reduce those side effects. So that could be a big application for this type of technology. We're very happy about the results, but we're, we need to really look at this over a long period of time and make sure that we're not causing any more subtle damage that will show up later.